Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elmir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Their Majesties the King and Her Majesty the Queen participate in the funeral ceremony of Queen Elizabeth II. Patriarch Pizzabella patronizes the graduation ceremony of the sixth cohort of AUM students. Deacon Andrew Shamia and Deacon Zakaria, new priests at the altar of the Lord. Welcome back. Their Majesties King Abdullah II and Queen Rania Abdullah, along with the leaders from different countries of the world, participated in the funeral ceremony of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, which was held at Westminster Abbey in London. The funeral ceremony was attended by a large number of leaders and kings of the world to bid farewell to a beloved figure who united the nation during a reign that lasted 70 years. His Majesty King Abdullah II had, in a letter sent to the King of Britain, recalled the late Queen's role in strengthening and strong relations between the two royal families and the two peoples in the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan and the United Kingdom. His Beatitude Pier Batista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, patronized the graduation ceremony of the 6th, 7th and 8th cohorts of AUM students in Madaba, with the participation of Bishop William Shomali, Chairman of the University's Board of Trustees, and the presence of its President, Dr. Ma'moun Akrush, as well as members of the faculty, members of the University's Board of Trustees, and a number of diplomats and trustees. In his speech, his Beatitude Patriarch Pizzabella said, The mission of the American University is to be a place for human and spiritual values and to promote understanding, tolerance, dialogue, and peace. The ceremony included the speech of Archbishop Shomali and the speech of the university's president and the graduates in which they expressed their pride in their education and their graduation in this field. The university raised prayers for its students and the victims of the collapse of the apartment building in Wave Day. After the speeches were finished, his beatitude handed over the certificates to the male and female graduates in a crowded and festival celebration. With the blessing of his beatitude, the Patriarch of the Holy City, Kyrios Kyrios Theophilus III, and the decision of the Holy Synod, Deacon Andrew Shamia was ordained a solidary priest by laying the hands of His Eminence Archbishop Christophorus Atallah during the Divine Liturgy in which the holy entry into the temple was held. In the homily, His Eminence congratulated Priest Andrew on the holy blessing of the priesthood. His Eminence also announced the appointment of the new deacon as spiritual head of the Aqaba Governorate. A number of priests and deacons assisted him in the service, in the presence of Father Andrew's family and a group of believers and his relatives. In the city of Salt, Deacon Zakaria was ordained a priest at the altar of the Lord by laying the hands of Archbishop Christophorus during the divine liturgy that was held in the Church of the Dormition of the Virgin Mary. His eminence instructed the new priest to pay attention for the sake of his salvation to the prayer of Jesus and to focus in his life on developing the virtues that led him and the flock to Christ. His Excellency was assisted in the service by a group of priests and deacons in the presence of the priest's family and a group of believers. Deputizing for the Minister of Culture, Mrs. Haifa Najjar, Dr. Hussein Dghimat, Director of the Institute of Fine Arts at the Ministry, sponsored the celebration held by the Rosary Sisters School and the Kindergarten in Al Mazdar on the occasion of the International Day of Peace, which occurred last Wednesday. The celebration, which was attended by Sister Madeleine Dababne, the regional president of the Sisters of the Rosary in Jordan, and Dr. Basim Al-Sam'an, the regional director of Nursat Satellite Channel in the Holy Land, Jordan and Palestine, a number of nuns, the administrative and teaching bodies in the school, the children participating in the first drawing competition, and their families, included a set of various artistic paragraphs from the performance of school's children. Affiliated to the General Secretariat of Educational Institutions in the Kingdom, where these paragraphs won the admiration of the audience. The art is the way to peace. Schools affiliated to the General Secretariat of Educational Institutions in the Kingdom also participated in the drawing competition. The Christian youth in the Holy Land organized the festival of the story of Ibn al-Balad, whose activities were launched in the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem. The opening was attended by Patriarch Michel Sabah, a number of officials in the governorate and a large group of believers. The idea of the four-day festival centered on learning about the Bible and the history of the prophets in Jordan and Palestine, all the way to the Savior Jesus Christ and His life in the Holy Land. The festival included many workshops for youth groups, artistic and cultural performances, and food industries. With more sorrow and sadness, the regional office of Nursat TV in Jordan and Palestine, represented by its director, Dr. Basim Al-Sam'an and the team, mourns the sons of the homeland who lost their lives as a result 
of the collapse of the residential building in Jabal al in Amman, asking God to have mercy on them and to grant their families patience and consolation with our wishes for recovery for the wounded and injured. We also express our pride in all civil defense caters and in the security and support of authorities who worked over several days to save the lives struck under the rubble, praying for all citizens of the country to stay in safety, health, and wellness. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Their Majesties the King and Her Majesty the Queen participate in the funeral ceremony of Queen Elizabeth II. Patriarch Pizzabella patronizes the graduation ceremony of the sixth cohort of AUM students. Deacon Andrew Shamia and Deacon Zakaria new priests at the altar of the Lord. For more information, please visit our website www.nursadjo.org Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.